second period. Ready to get underway. Team USA going to take a 2-0 lead into the second frame over Team Italy. U.S. with a lightning quick start in period one, but Italy came back strong and certainly had their share of scoring chances that the state's goaltender, Joe Sheen, had to kick aside. Italy in the attacking zone. Ball out to the front of the net. Can't come away with it, and here come the United States. One thing I noticed, an early observation with Team USA is speed. They are fast. When they gain possession in the defensive zone, the counterattack is very, very quick. Ruiz, down low. Ruiz just throws one out front, and they'll advise pass there. Chance for the Italians to come away with it. Jonathan Policchio puts it down low. That's going to send the American defender all the way back for it. Michael Bain. Bain chips one up the boards for Schlegel. Schlegel puts it down deep. Hauser on the forecheck. Ball moves up along the wall. Italy. They're going to cycle it back for the defenseman. USA with a good forecheck here now. Ball goes down behind the low goal for Varelli. Varelli now in front of his own net. Varelli under some pressure, lifts one high into the neutral zone. American player steps up and knocks it down. It was Hauser. Hauser under some pressure. Americans turn the ball over. Here's a chance for Italy. Shot, shoot, scores! Two on one. Tanner Pagandum. Executes perfectly on the two on one and the Italians draw within one. Great execution there and a nice shot finds the corner of the net. Tanner Pagandum. Here we see the interception on the errant pass was made by Alberto Fiore and Pagandum steps up and finishes the playoff drawing the Italians back to within one. Italy right back to the attack now. Jordan Velenosi down below in the goal. Net is knocked off as Moorings. Referees still don't see it. There's a shot right on, and that had controversy written all over it. If the Italians had the dent to twine again. And the Americans, since scoring on the first two shots of the game, have looked rather normal here. And Team Italy certainly equal to the task. Americans now on the counterattack. Josh Merchant, he loses on the half boards. Turned over to Joe Caracha. Caracha turns it back. Here's Merchant. Americans now. Warilla back to the point. Big drive there off the stick of Rick Zimmick. That one whistles wide. Italians trying to come out of their zone. Good stick moves there by Phil DiGiacomo. Ball. Kept in though by the Americans. Now a chance for Italy to clear. Ball launched down the floor and that's gonna send Rick Zimmick all the way back. Zimmick, long pass up for Bill Sullivan. Sullivan finds Matt Weasel. Weasel back down behind the goal for Sullivan. Sullivan walks out, looks to get it to Weasel. Weasel couldn't get good wood on that one. Justin Bowers is gonna move it around. Bowers looking to get a return pass. Instead, it's going to come all the way to point for Matt Caron. Matt Caron. If he was from Quebec, Canada, it would be Matt Caron, but I'm going to guess it's Matt Caron. 
2-1. USA over Italy here, early stage of the second period, the ISBHF 2017 World Ball Hockey Championships, a pool action, the last game of the day, and it has certainly been a long one here at the Tip Sport Arena today. The sixth game of the day. My name is Steve Power. I'm just sitting in for our professional announcer, George Scott, as George has got a well-deserved break tonight. I'm glad to help out. Always a treat to call Team USA at the World Championships. And Team Italy certainly giving them all they can handle right now. Falcons ball hockey going to check in with me, correct me on the pronunciation, and by far, folks, by far, by far and away, folks, please let me know if I'm butchering someone's name. So Jonathan Pulicchio is the name as opposed to Pulicchio, I believe is what I was saying. So there you go, and let's see if I don't fool that one up anymore, can't make any provinces. Here's a chance for the States. Good man-to-man -man defense by the Italians and they cause a turnover. But they give it right back to the Americans in the slot. Good effort there by Dennis Hickey. Hickey moves it down low. Jim Petito, he takes a bump. Italy managed to clear the ball up into the stands and we'll have a face off. Eleven thirty-eight remain to play in the second period. Got the official coming to the American bench, having a little chat with the boys down there. Possibly asking where the best place to purchase a Pilsner or Kell after the game would be. Gregory, sorry, Hauser behind the net. No, it was Gregory, Steve Gregory. Steve Gregory actually does look like Bobby Hauser in the way they move. Different helmets, different numbers, I know, but I really like the way Steve Gregory plays the game. Italy trying to make a counterattack. They were a little bounce off the stick away from having a two-on-one. Tagging them. He's the goal scorer for the Italians. Moves it back now for Di Giacomo. Colin Di Giacomo. He moves the ball cross floor. United States in good defensive position. Five men back in the neutral zone, and that's just going to force an errant pass, which will create a flooring call. Face-off is going to be to the right of Chris Cusimano. Right off the bat, we've got a shot that gets deflected high over the glass. They'll just stop and do it all over again. From the draw, Adriano Fiaconi. Fiaconi. He loses the ball. The Americans now with a chance. They're going to get to run it up for free. Ruiz in the middle of the floor waiting for a pass. Doesn't get it. Going to move over for Rick Zimmick instead. Zimmick. It's a down low for Bain. Here's Hauser now. Hauser. Back to the point. Back down for Hauser. Hauser thought about a one-time shot. Elects to hold it on instead. Bobby Hauser. Swinging off. He's got Ruiz going to the net. Schlegel is down low. Hauser, cross feed for Chris Liebers. Liebers now, gonna throw it behind the net. No one home there though, Bucks. Ball's gonna come all the way around. Massimo De Torre takes it, moves it back for Italy. Ball moved across to Mike Antigliani. Antigliani, here's a shot, fired down low. That's gonna take a funny little bounce off the boards. And Joe Sheehan will stop and hold on for the faceoff. We 
We see U.S. centerman Josh Merchant checking in for the face-off against Emil Ferlizzi. Ferlizzi wins that draw. Little bump down behind the net. USA now, chance to clear. The Italian player walks on the ball. Normally, sometimes you see a penalty call on that one. Now they cover it with their hands. So we had, we had the best of both worlds there. We had him walking on the ball in one second, then covering it with his hand the other. Could have been two penalties, but they are going to get one. And we see the Italian team not happy about that call at all. Looks like it's going to go to number 11, Michael Varelli. Going to go to the box. USA going to get a power play. Here in this second period, up by a score of 2-1. to one. Ruffing going to be the call. Face-off will come all the way down to Italian territory now. U.S. power play going to go to work. Warilla, Corey Wilson, and Jordan Senegal up front. Sullivan on the point with Hildreth. Here's Sullivan now. Sullivan dances down low. Sullivan's shot is blocked there off the stick of Mike Antoliani. Ball cleared down the floor by the Italians. Hildreth goes back and gives chase for Team USA. Here comes Hildreth now. Italians stacking the blue line. Four men up there. Ball over the blue line. Entry to the zone is gained by Team USA. Here's Warilla. Warilla. Down low for Wilson. Wilson elects to go back to the point for Sullivan to Hildreth. Hildreth, he's got the big bomb out there. That's where they want it from, and there it is. Andrew Hildreth with a quick snapshot. And that one goes right where mom hides the cookies up in the top shelf and the USA take a three to one lead. Not the first time Andrew Hildreth has done that folks. Letting him take about six or seven feet inside the blue line and he's not gonna make any mistake in that one. Nine times out of 10. Power play goal for the Americans. Open up a two goal lead once again. Here comes Team Italy. We got a delayed penalty coming up. This one's going to go against the United States. So the Italians going to get an opportunity to go to the power play now. And a power play goal here by Italy keeps them hanging around. USA really not getting much of an opportunity to put this away. Open up a two goal lead quickly, but the Italians hung around. Jess Hackett finds his way to the sin bin where he'll sit for two or less. Italy on the power play. Face off, one by the Americans, backhand clearing attempt. Varelli steps up and keeps it in momentarily for the Italians. Moves over to Tanner Paganum. Paganum, the goal scorer here for Italy. Here's Paganum, forward up on top. He's playing catch with Varelli. Paganum moves it down low to Jonathan Pelicio. Pelicio shoots, scores! Oh no, referee's calling it off. Says the net was off its moorings and the Italians right away gonna argue that one and I think they have got a point, folks. I gotta think the ball was in the net. We're gonna have a look at the replay. There's the shot. Rebound comes over and uh, that was pretty close. The referee, the goaltender did indeed knock the net off, but you know something? That ball's going in the net there. I gotta be honest, folks, I, I don't know the rule. I don't know what the referee's supposed to do there. To me, that looks like a good goal, but you know something? I don't know the rule. And if the referee's supposed to blow the whistle as soon as the net's knocked off, he made the right call. So we move on. 
Nonetheless, there is only one boss in this building, and that is the guy with the whistle in his hand. We see referee in chief for the tournament. One of the referees in chief for the tournament, Dave Shaw up there, having a look at that. Nonetheless, goal waved off. Italians back to the power play. Still good news for the Italy fans. They still have some time to work with. Ball comes behind an effort. Jonathan Pelliccio. Pelliccio can't hold on. Ball's going to get sent all the way back down the floor. Italy coming back. Chance short-handed for the USA. Here's Gregory in alone. Shoot scores. Gregory. Fake going to the backhand. Brought it forehand, and he went up to the top shelf. And he puts the Americans up by three. Sammy Gregory will like that one. For sure, nifty hands showed there by Brother Stevie. And an unfortunate series of events for Team Italy. They thought they had one scored on the power play, and they ended up giving one up shorthanded. So still 53 seconds remain in the power play for the Italians. Ball back to the point now. Massimo De Torre puts it down low. Italy gives chase. Americans trying to pick it up behind the net. Italians on the ball quickly. Ball comes back to the point for De Torre. Moves across the floor. Now out to De Torre. De Torre. We've got a penalty in front of the net. Looks like a charging call in front of the net. Mike Antigliani was thinking about a shot, but one of his teammates is getting tagged for charging. The Italian player not too happy with that call. Then again, folks, all the same. When are players happy to get penalties? Varelli down talking to the official. Now that isn't the official who made the call. So David Perugini, he's going to get the gate and it's going to be for charging. Americans going to go to the power play in about three seconds. Up by a score of four to one and one more goal here could be very, very tough for the Italians. They've been hanging around doing pretty well for the most part, but they don't want to give up a power play goal here. Faceoff for the USA. Player out of the penalty box. Ball sent down the floor, and the US are not fooling around. They send out Ruiz, Hauser, and Schlegel here on the power play. Shot by Hauser. Long shot. That's blocked in front. Good screen in front of the net there by Jim Darty. For the Americans. Here's Hauser. Hauser gains the line. Hauser 
Down low, he takes a little bump from DiGiacomo. Hauser still has the ball on his stick, though. Bobby Hauser. Backhand pass to the point. Schlegel was out there on the point for a second. I'll tell you what, Denny Schlegel shooting the ball. We're here in Party Beatsy for this tournament. I'm pretty sure he's over around Prague somewhere. He might score if he's left open. A little shot of the American ladies team. Here enjoying the action here tonight. They had a tough loss today against Team Canada. A 2-1 game. Very, very well get played game by both squads earlier this morning. So the U.S. ladies team look to be in pretty good spirits tonight, cheering on the men here at the Tip Sport Arena at the 2017 World Ball Hockey Championships. Forty-six seconds remain the power play. USA players trying to change up a little discussion. The officials about who was eligible to take the face off. Finally got things straightened out here, and here we go. It didn't really matter because the Italians going to win the draw and just fire it down the floor. Americans trying to overload one side here, and it. Does the trick as it opened up floor on the other side. They gained the zone easily. USA on the power play. They have one power play marker in this game. Schlegel back for Ruiz. Schlegel's on his wrong side, though, for the one time. He founds Hauser in the slot. There's a shot right on. Cusimano makes the save. And the Italian defenders do their job after. Moving the Americans out of the slot, no rebound on the play. Checking in on Twitter, our Falcons ball hockey friends saying it looked like a bad call. Ball went in before the net was dislodged. Instead of 3-2, it's 4-1. You know something? I can't argue with you. It, it might have been. It's just one of those things. I, I, I'm not sure of the rules. So I tell you, if I'm on the floor playing, if I'm on the bench coaching, I'm with you. I, I, that call would just kill me. Like I say, you're gone from 3-2 to down to 4-1. to That's your old uh, turning point to the hockey game right there, possibly. But there's nothing you can do about that now if you're Team Italy. You just got to put the pedal to the metal and go and try to get the next one. Italians now doing a good job on the forecheck. Take a bump down low. Americans back to even strength now are the Italians. Here come the Americans. Nice defensive play there by Italy's defenseman Colin Di Giacomo. Great play there, Di Giacomo. Physical down low, but in a smart way. Now we got a penalty coming up, though. And I believe it might have been for shooting the stick away of a player. Let's see what the call is. Referee's arm is up. He's explaining the call, and it's going to be slashing. Let's have a look at the replay, see what we got here. I don't think that was it. That was a good defensive play there by Di Giacomo. And obviously it wasn't the play because we've got Cerrone's going to the box. So Cerrone goes for slashing and the USA back to the power play. I love coming to York. The only place I think you can go to a hockey game and have Tom Jones sex bomb Followed immediately by the smooth stylings of ACDC. Great place, great place here. 
USA on the power play. Hauser going to settle things down. USA getting some motion going there. They put the ball down behind the net. Back on the point now. Schlegel. Schlegel for a guy with such a lethal shot, they don't set him up on the one time side. All down low. Wilson does a good job holding on to that one. Back for Schlegel. Schlegel cross feed pass misses Hauser, but Ruiz is there to pick it up. He'll put it back for Hauser. Hauser for Schlegel. Schlegel trying back door to put it off the American defender, sneaking down low. That's a set play there by the Americans. But Team Italy does a good job stopping it. Americans trying to overload one side again. Italy don't fall for it this time. Good job holding the blue line. Italy do give up the line though the Americans with a good job, gained the zone. Here's Hauser. Hauser's got a high screen, nothing low though. He's waiting for the low screen. Hauser for Warilla. Warilla shot right on and Cusimano drops down and makes a save and more importantly, no rebound here. Face off, one by the Americans. Sullivan now is out on the point. Sullivan and Hildreth. Sullivan up top for Warilla. Warilla shot. That one's deflected over the top of the net. Comes out to Warilla now on the half boards. Warilla back to the point for Sullivan. Sullivan for Hildreth. Hildreth wants it. That's where he scored from the last time. Sullivan for Hildreth. Back for Sullivan. Down for Warilla. Cross seam pass for Hildreth. Rebound scores. Couple of different attempts there by Jordan Senecal. And Senecal had a couple of whacks at it and he finally put it in. Not much Cusimano could do on that one. Jordan Senecal dents the twine and the Americans strike again on the power play. There, folks, I missed an Italian goal. The Italians coming back, letting them know they are not going away. 31 seconds left in the period, and Team Italy strikes. Let's have a look at it. Vincenzo D'Elia comes in all by himself, and he roofs one over the shoulder of Joe Sheen. And D'Elia. Very happy about that one. Nice goal, too. 31 seconds remain in the period. Dilia busting down the left side. Makes good. Looked like he was going to wind and fire it, but he just gently lifted it over the shoulder. That's a cheeky shot there, young man. Well done. Italy trying to get one last gasp here in this second period. Hasn't been a good period to the Italians, but they're finishing strong. Ball chipped off the wall. The Americans trying to come away with it. They might have an odd man rush, but they run into each other at the blue line. Italy stops settling things down. Puts it behind the goal. 
And Colin DiGiacomo, he'll stop and hold on. So after two periods of play, Team USA five, Team Italy two. You're watching the ISBHF World Ball Hockey Championship. We'll be back for the call to third. Den Pardubického kraje už klapte na dveře. V pátek 9. června od 10. do 21. hodin se můžete na Pernštínském a Komenského náměstí v Pardubicích těšit na bohatý program. Prohlídky úřadu, dobročení jarma, ukázka práce záchranných složek, regionální potraviny a řemeslníci. A ve 20 hodin na Pernštínském náměstí koncert Heleny Vondráčkové. Den Pardubického kraje v pátek 9. června.
period underway. Team USA leading by a score of 5-2 over Team Italy. Team's at even strength here to start this third period. Late, late night here in the Czech Republic. It is 20 minutes to 12 midnight here in Czech Republic. Back in North America for you fans watching this game online, this is probably a prime time effort. But we've got a long day at the rink today. And back at it early tomorrow morning. George Scott will be back and he'll have the call for those games. Face off will have to be done again. Little discussion about where the face off should be. They'll finally get ready and do it all over again. Tony Di Giacomo checking in with me on Twitter. So D, I think I was saying D, Di Giacomo. He says it's Di Giacomo, or like my coach called me Di Jockstrap. There you go. Thanks a lot, Tony, for letting us know. Third period underway. Face off in the USA end. The Italians trying to get back to within two. Face off, won by Italy. Di Giacomo. He's going to put it behind the net. Italy on the power play here. Back for Varelli. There's a drive from the point in from Tanner Pagandam. Pagandam for Varelli. Varelli, nice play holding on to that pass. Here's Varelli. Varelli down for Di Giacomo. Di Giacomo gets it back, comes out short side, tries to sneak one through. And we see the Italians celebrating Referito right in good position. And right away, he says no goal to that one. And I'm sure we'll get another look at it. We have the luxury of instant replays. The officials do not. And folks, got to think there. I, I don't see it going in the net there. In fact, you see it under his pad. So we'll give full credit to the officials on that one. Yeah, you see it drop under his pad there. It's right there. So. No goal was the correct call. Di Giacomo back behind the net. Italy doing a good job here behind the net, moving that ball around. Ball comes down low. Americans really tightening up around the crease. Di Giacomo throws one in front. Chance for the USA to clear it, and they do so. Going to send it down the floor. Got a goaltending change this period as Carlo Bernardo is into the game for the Italians. And certain you cannot fault Chris Cusimano. He had a great effort in the first two periods. There's a drive right on. Another one whistles wide. Tanner pagging them. I can see why they move him back on the point in the power play. The kid's got a rocket. Di Giacomo down behind the goal for Bowers. Back for Di Giacomo. Out for Bowers. Bowers couldn't get a stick on that one. Pagandum has it. He's going to put it back down low. Back out for Pagandum. Winds. Fires. Shot right on. And that one's scared aside by Sheen. Italians trying to get something go here the last few seconds of this power play. Italian player boss in. Good job there. Going to be a penalty here against the USA. Di Giacomo with a nice rush there, and one USA player is coming out of the box, but his buddy's going to go right behind him. And the Italians looking pretty good here on the power play. They are going to go right back to it. 11.32 left to play here in period three. USA up by a score of 5-2. to two. So 
apparently a USA player is in the box. The penalty time is showing zero, but he's not out the box. A little discussion here. Apparently they're saying the ball has to be dropped. Well, this could be interesting on a clean face-off win. Now the player is indeed out of the box, and the Italians did get a shot right away. Dettori. Down for Villanosi, back for Dettori. Dettori's shot, that gets deflected. Leave that hidden American player in front, and that face-off will indeed stay inside USA zone. Team Italy looking pretty good here on the power play. Good ball movement, and they are indeed getting some scoring chances. Italy moving the ball around. Changing the point of attack now as Alberto Fiore comes back to the point for Dottore. Dottore, he moves it across. Back for Dottore now. Dottore down the left side. Velenosi, there's a shot, rattles one off the post. Big drive there off the stick of Mike Antigliani. And that one eluded Sheen, but it couldn't beat the iron. Nice drive there by the Italian defenseman. U.S. causing some trouble now in the neutral zone. Italy does gain the line though. Di Giacomo puts it down low. Di Giacomo now on the half boards. He's gonna put it down behind the goal. Team Italy having success, success moving the ball behind the net. Ferrelli shot right on. Sheen steers that one aside. Ball chipped up, here's Di Giacomo. High ball knocked down out front. That's knocked down by Wilson. He gets to the line, but not out. Di Giacomo. Penley is over. Teams back at even strength. Italy throwing the ball around like they own it. Di Giacomo, short side shot. That one stopped by Sheen. Chance for the Americans to clear it now is Michael DeFazio. Some good patient there for Team USA. He's gonna knock it back for Sullivan and the Americans will complete a line change. Bill Sullivan now for Liebers. Liebers, gonna wait for the Americans to complete the change. Both teams making wholesale changes at this point. Ball knifed up to the neutral zone. Merchant. Puts it down low, Merchant gets a return pass and he fires, that one's gonna go high into the stands. Face off will stay inside the Italian territory. Face off, one by Italy. Ball chipped up to the half boards. Lorenzo Bonanno out to the zone. Bonanno goes in, he steps into the American defender. No call on that one. USA hammers it back down the floor. Flooring gonna be the call. And that will come back into USA territory. Halfway through this third period, Team USA lead by a score of five to two over Team Italy. USA unbeaten. So far in the tournament, sporting a two and zero record coming into this one with a six two win over Portugal and a six to three shootout win over the host nation, Czech Republic. Americans now in Italian territory. Di Giacomo trying to run it out. Can't do so. Here's a chance in front. Merchant shoots, scores! And the Italian goaltender was fooled on that one. I believe he thought Merchant was gonna rip it high. And in fact, he fanned on it and the ball just rolled in. 
past the line, but nonetheless, it still counts. And it's six to two. Morelli from the faceoff for the Italians. Morelli for Di Giacomo. Nice pass there. Bounces off the stick though, and away comes Team USA. Schlegel looking to get it to Ruiz. Ruiz couldn't come away with it. Now here come the Italians. Jonathan Policcio for Varelli. Varelli holds, shoots off the iron once again. That's his second post of this one, Michael Varelli. I don't know if he's much of an artist, but he can certainly draw iron. Tough luck here tonight for Varelli. Here's Hauser. Hauser behind the goal for the States. Hauser trying to wrap around. Comes out for Ruiz. Ruiz can't get a handle on that one. Hauser. Backhand pass for Schlegel. Oh, my goodness. What a pass there by Bobby Hauser. Denny Schlegel looked down. It was there, and he taps it into the cage, and that was some play. Let's have a look at this. Hauser sees Schlegel coming. Behind the pass, Spinorama. How's you going today? Oh my goodness. The Italians begrudgingly got to give credit to the Americans for that one. And it's now seven to two. So the Americans starting to open things up here now. U.S. one of the tournament favorites, you got to think, coming in here. And they've certainly proved it so far by beating Portugal and the only team to take a point, two points from the Czech Republic so far. Only teams unbeaten at this event. The United States of America, Slovakia, and Canada. And that will change tomorrow as Slovakia will play Canada here tomorrow evening. U.S. looking to grab first place in their pool, likely to set up a quarterfinal matchup with Greece. Sullivan steps in for the faceoff. Faceoff is won by the Italians. Colin Di Giacomo. He's going to take it behind his own net. Americans a little bit disciplined here and forechecking, just willing to let the Italians come to him, causing some trouble. Marco Cerrone takes it back. He's going to move it to Di Giacomo. Di Giacomo, cross floor pass, finds Jordan Velenosi. Velenosi knifes it into American territory. Going back and giving chase is Andrew Hildreth. Last five minutes of this one, 7-2 to USA. And we're going to be approaching the witching hour before this one's done here tonight. 11 52 the time here in Pardubice, Czech Republic.
Italians trying to put some pressure on the Americans here. USA moved the ball across. Here's Liebers. Liebers. He's going to move it back behind his own goal. Picked up by Michael Bain. Bain has got time. He gets the red line. He's going to fire it down deep. Where Jordan Senecal gives chase right away. Senecal loses his footing. Tanner Pagat. Pagandum picks it up for Italy. Italians move it back for Varelli, the captain. Italy making some changes here on the fly. Americans content just to sit back and watch the time tick off the clock here, forcing the Italians to move it up the floor. That pass is going to miss everyone. Icing will be the call. And that'll bring a face off all the way back into Italy territory. New goaltender Carlo Bernardo in between the pipes for Team Italy. From the draw, one cleanly by Italy's Justin Bowers. That sets up the Italian breakout. Here comes Team Italy through the neutral zone. Good run here by Bowers. Bowers takes a little bump there from Matt Karen. Karen moves it up the wall for the Americans. Back behind the net now, USA is Fazio. Fazio. Found the stick of Petito. Petito moves it back up. Pass is missed, and Michael DeFazio was trying to be sent in. I see. But that play will come all the way back down to USA territory for faceoff. Ball comes outside the zone. The Italians have to come back to regroup. They do so. They fire a dumping, goes all the way around the American net. Back to the point, but it will come clear to the line. Team Italy comes back by their own blue line to pick it up. Di Giacomo. Tries to spin away from the American defender. Defender moves the ball down the floor. Team Italy just fire one in deep, and Sheen's going to stop and hold on to that one for the faceoff. Just over two minutes left to go here. Team USA in control, up by a score of 7 2 over Team Italy. Off Italy with control. There's a shot. That one whistles wide. Ball goes down below. And now the Americans step out of the zone. Ball to the line. Intercepted. Italy trying to mount some sort of a counterattack here in the late stages of this third period. Give the Italians credit for one thing, a spirited bunch. And here's you see him jam at the net, two or three whacks at it, and they score. The Americans don't like it, but that one's going to count. Team Italy just about say how they don't give up. And it's number 41, Joe Caraccia. He gets a rebound off the boards, and he bangs it home. You see the shot. Fired off the glass there. By Dettori. And the Italians bang home the rebound to make it seven to three. Goal team Italy, Celo Caracciso, the Varesa Chess, Vincenzo De Via, Cingrava Caracciso, also the Sampa, John Divisio, Stafutkani, Sedo Sid. 
Colin De Giacomo with the ball now for Italy. De Giacomo, he's gonna run it up to the line himself. De Giacomo trying to get the red, he does. Now he goes to the blue and dumps it in. Emil Felizzi spins away. Nice play there by Felizzi, stopping that long lead pass in the neutral zone. Pass intended for Matt Wiesel. And Wiesel stops it and fires it in. Final minute of play of this one. Team USA gonna stay undefeated here at the 2017 World Championships. And Italy still looking for their first win, but they were, certainly were a game opponent here tonight. The Italians going hard right to the end here, packing them. The shot that's blocked. Levers, backhand pass. That goes nowhere. Intercepted. The Italians put it down low. Italy activating all the defensemen right to the net. They score. Nice pass here by Fiore and Cerrone. And the Italians with a couple of late goals. All of a sudden, it goes from a blowout to very respectable, seven to four. The only guys that don't like this are the goalkeepers. The old goals against taking a bit of a beating here tonight. And save percentage is on a downward trend, but lots of offense. And Team Italy takes another slice of the pie and puts that one in the shelf. And they draw their fourth goal of the hockey game. So, last game of this day is in the books. Team Italy, a game effort, but they're going to come up short. Final score in this one. Oh, we got a little bit of a dust up there at the end. And we got punches thrown. Wow. That's interesting. Not very often you see that in ball hockey. Final score in this one. Team USA 7. Italy 4. For George Scott, I'm Steve Power. You've been watching the coverage of the ISBHF World Ball Hockey Championships from Paradise, Czech Republic.